Hey everybody, this is Hank doing a little CBMF video because I wanted to give a quick shout out to uh, a little mini story in The Amazing Spider-Man 25. There is a backup story, it's called Mutt's Ado About Nothing, and it is written and drawn by Hannah Blumenreich. Uh, I hope I'm saying your name right. This was a really exciting story to get to read. Um, if you haven't heard of Hannah, she's developed kind of a reputation online because she writes and draws these amazing Spider-Man little fan fiction kind of comics. Uh, she, she's she been doing them up on Twitter for quite a while. Honestly, they're probably my favorite Spider-Man stories I've ever read. I think she really understands the character. Her dialogue is absolutely amazing and she really the way she draws Peter Parker in New York the way Spider-Man inhabits the space and sort of interacts with the geography of the city it's no exaggeration for me to say these are my favorite Spider-Man stories the ones that Hannah writes and draws are simply the greatest Spider-Man stories I've ever read. Those are ones that she just does for fun. She puts them up on her Twitter. I'll include a link to that in the information down below so you can check those out, and you really should. But the thing that's really cool is Marvel saw the huge, huge fan response to these awesome stories that she's been doing for free, and they got her to write and draw a Spider-Man story for this amazing Spider-Man number 25, and it's wonderful. I don't want to give too much of it away. Uh, you can tell by the title. It's Peter Parker interacts with a dog. It's worth picking up Amazing Spider-Man 25 just for her story. And I know that's, that's, I'm saying that you should spend 10 bucks for, I think it's like a seven or eight page little mini story at the back. But honestly, it's that good. She deserves to be supported. Hannah makes great Spider-Man comics. Marvel did the right thing by bringing her in and letting her do this story. It, it was great. I really hope she had a really positive experience with making it because we, the people, my friends here in the comic book store, we really enjoyed reading it. It's so silly and at the same time this affected me emotionally more than any other Spider-Man comic I think I've ever read. Really in just a, a simple way. It's, it's really straightforward, efficient storytelling with so much heart. I, I'm really happy this story gets to exist, and, you know, I don't normally push for you to check out a mainstream or a Marvel or a Spider-Man comic, and it means a lot to me to give this book a positive nod and say it's really worth the time and energy to, to seek out this comic and read it. If you enjoy Spider-Man at all, and if you just want to see somebody really telling... I don't know, just a grounded good story that's fun to read. Isn't that what we all want to read? Well, this is that. Um, yeah. So, that is what I have to say about that. Um, so, thank you so much for listening, and check it out. This has been me doing one of my little CBMF talks real quick at the end of the night at the back of the store. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for listening, and I'll talk to you later.